Hi, I'm Christine from Poise for Success, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the titles that are available through the Poise for Success Musical Freestyle Titling Program. I often see posts on canine musical freestyle groups and lists where people who are interested in getting involved in the sport ask the question, how do I make a routine? And here's the thing. That's not a question that you can give an easy answer to. There are countless foundation skills needed before a team is even going to be ready to start putting a performance together. Not to mention, when you put a canine musical freestyle performance together, you're pretty much on your own with the choreography. So how do you do it? How do you know what moves to do? How do you know what movements to do? How do you know what music to use? How do you know how to use your performance space? I've designed the Poise for Success Freestyle Titling Program so that teams who are brand new to freestyle can start with the basics and earn titles demonstrating their mastery of the basics before ever having to put together full freestyle performances, which really is a more advanced skill. So here is a summary of the titles offered and the succession of titles in the Poise for Success Freestyle Titling Program which allow you to start at the very beginning and end up with full performances. Let's start off with a bit of terminology. In the Poise for Success Musical Freestyle Titling Program, each level is called a division. So the first level, what would really be kind of the entry level or beginner, is the overture division. The next level, which would be something like novice, is the melody division. The third level, more intermediate, is the harmony division. Then you get into the three performance divisions, which are the more advanced divisions, where you're making freestyle performances. The first of those is the dynamic division, where you kind of get your feet wet by making miniature performances or sampler performances. And then you can move on to the fifth division, which is called the master performer division, where you can make full freestyle performances. And if you'd like more after that, there's a championship title division, Partners Extraordinaire. So the first three divisions in the titling program are what I kind of informally think of as the foundation titles. Each of these divisions, Overture, Melody, and Harmony, consist of three legs each which are under the categories of handling, technical, and artistry. And then within those categories, there are different options and some requirements that the team needs to work on, master, film, and then present in their titling submission to earn that particular leg. I've designed the first division, Overture, to be accessible to teams of all experience levels. If you're brand new to canine musical freestyle, the Overture Division is an excellent place to start. If you're more experienced, the Overture Division will give you a chance to sharpen and hone your basic skills and foundation. Under the handling leg, there are three categories, training, cues, and props, or fitness. I realize that some people prefer not to include prop work in their freestyle. If that's you, you can take the fitness track instead of doing the props track, or you can mix and match according to your preferences. In the training category in the Overture Division, I give teams the opportunity to explore different training techniques that are helpful for canine musical freestyle training, such as targeting, ground targets, and moving targets. Yes, good girl, nice. Props that can help you teach your dog backing, such as a platform or backing up into the garage. Back. Yes, good girl. Among others. Under the cues category, you have the opportunity either to explore different cue styles, physical cues, verbal cues, concurrent cues, or, again, to hone your skills in the cue style of your choice, 
Remember, in the Poise for Success Freestyle Titling Program, there is no mandated cue style. You have complete artistic freedom, and you can use any type of cue style that you prefer. The fitness and props category under the handling leg is special. I give you the opportunity to explore different prop skills, such as going around a cane or the dog putting paws on a particular prop. Yes. But if you're not into props, I've provided the opportunity to explore different fitness skills, such as cavaletti, that are helpful for keeping a canine freestyle partner in good shape for dancing. Go. Nice. In the technical leg, the focus is on heel work and movement and on freestyle tricks and moves. And in the artistry leg, you get an opportunity to work with music, artistic movement to music, flow, and beginning choreography. As you move up into the melody division, the basic structure stays the same. So once you put together your overture legs, you'll have a really good idea of what you need to do to complete the options and requirements for the melody division and create your submission. And then after melody, you can move on into harmony where all of it becomes a good deal more challenging. Once you've completed the foundation titles, you can move on to the performance divisions. There are three of them, dynamic, master performer, and performers extraordinaire. For all three of these divisions, you're provided with a list of categories from which you can choose to create your own freestyle performances. I put a lot of thought into these categories and tried to make them as diverse and creative as possible so that you can let the best in your team shine forth. For descriptions of the categories, see the Dynamic Division Guidebook, which you can find in the Files section of the Poise for Success Freestyle Facebook group or on the website. To earn the title for the dynamic division, you need to prepare three legs. Each leg consists of two short performances in two different categories. Over the course of your work in the dynamic division, you and your dog will perform six different performances in six different categories. When you get to the master performer division, you'll also submit three legs. Each leg will consist of one full performance from one category. So over the course of your work in the master performer division, you and your dog will perform three different performances in three different categories. For the performer's extraordinaire division, which is the champion division, you and your canine freestyle partner go on to perform five different performances from five different categories. One last note on the performance divisions. I've provided you with the opportunity to choose one of two tracks or you can do both of them, either theater or silver screen. On the theater track, you and your dog will perform full routines from start to finish with no break, much as you would do in a traditional canine musical freestyle competition. In the silver screen track, you have the opportunity to film with your dog in segments and edit together your performances. Now don't make the mistake of thinking that just because you can film in small segments means that the silver screen track is easier. Creating musical freestyle performances through editing is an art unto itself. I'll be putting together more videos in the future giving specific details for each division. I'll be creating videos of examples of the different options and requirements in the three foundation divisions and I'll be creating demo videos for the different categories in the performance divisions. Currently, this titling track is the only titling track that's available through the Poise for Success Freestyle Titling Program. 
However, coming very soon is going to be the tribute track, which is for dogs who either can no longer perform on the regular track due to age, limitation, etc. Or if you have video of a canine freestyle partner who's no longer with you, you would be able to earn titles through the tribute track. When I open that track up, of course, I'll be putting together a video to explain everything about it. And stay tuned. I have some other ideas for titling tracks. And once more people are titling in the Dynamic and Master Performer divisions, I plan to release some of those. If you're interested in participating in the Poise for Success Musical Freestyle Titling Program, be sure to subscribe to this channel for upcoming news and announcements regarding the titling program. And as always, if you have questions, feel free to post a comment below or come and join the Poise for Success Freestyle Facebook group.